Hello guys, I hope you are fine. In this video, I show you how to remove background of a photo in Affinity Designer for iPad. So let's get started. First we need to lock the layer that contains the photo. It will prevent displacement of the photo while we will be making the selection. To lock the layer, tap on the layer panel icon, tap on these three dots to show more options, and lock. In Affinity Designer, selection tools are available in Pixel Persona. Tap on this icon to switch to Pixel Persona. Pick up the selection brush and start applying selection brush on the object. Selection brush is a smart brush that detects edges automatically and it is quite high in accuracy. We can resize the brush to meet our selection requirements. Carefully draw the brush near the edges. Make sure that you should keep the brush inside and don't put it exactly on the edge line. If the brush don't detect some specific areas, then instead of drawing, use tapping on these areas with the brush. After selecting the peripheral areas, you can easily select the rest surrounded area by roughly applying the brush. Make sure that the surrounded area must be inside a closed selection. Also make sure to keep selection mode as add. Now it's time to manually refine the selection. Zooming in the image shows that selection brush has selected some background areas and also leaves some parts of object. To remove unwanted areas from our selection, we will change selection mode subtract. We can zoom to that area and reduce the brush radius to precisely exclude these areas from the selection. You can see that selection brush didn't select some areas of the object. We can set selection mode add and apply brush to these areas to include them in our selection. Carefully watch edges and refine selection by adding and subtracting technique. If areas are too small as some pixels, better to tap pencil instead of drawing on them. It is also true that at some points, selection brush makes us helpless, thanks to lasso tool, which lets us select those area that selection brush can't. Pick up lasso too, set mode freehand lasso, and set selection mode add. Then simple select the area by drawing over it like a pencil. We can rotate the canvas for our convenience. The best part about selection brush is that it selects highly uneven areas more quickly than manual selection tools like lasso or pen. To apply smoothing effect to edges, go to lasso tool and apply some feather amount. Generally one is sufficient. To finally remove the background, we need to access refine selection panel. We can access it by tapping on selection brush or by lasso tool. In refine selection panel, choose output to mask. You can see that photo background has been removed. Now we will add a new background to this photo. To do so, tap on file icon, and then tap on option place image. Now you can choose your desired background image, either from iCloud or from your local storage. 
I already downloaded a background image in photos, and it's a beautiful woody background. Drag the pencil to draw the image on the canvas. Affinity Designer itself creates a new layer for this imported background image. Now we need to put this image behind the photo in layer panel, and it is very easy. Just click on the photo image, hold the image for 1 or 2 seconds, and then drag it upward until it gets before the background image layer. Ignore the empty pixel layer. I mistakenly created the layer and it can be deleted. We can see that background is now in place, and photo with new background looks pretty good. To make it more appealing, we can apply some layer effects to photo layer, like drop shadow, inner shadow, etc. You can see that the photo looks better, so guys, that is it for today, I hope you would have find the video useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.